We're now being joined by a political analyst, Biodo Shomi. Many thanks for joining us on the news, Barista Shomi. All right, let's just get your candid opinion concerning this new discovery, concerning the 13 billion naira Ikoyi loot. It is really amazing to find out that um, the EFC's accountant has actually been indicted in this particular mess, as it were, still in 10.9 billion naira. What are your thoughts exactly? You know, it's, um, it's quite very shocking that an accountant with the EFC, you know, will have the audacity to to loot the kind of money alleged that he had looted. 10 billion naira out of the 30 billion naira uh, discovered uh, it, uh, in a digital allegedly traced to Nigerian intelligence agents uh, NIH. Um, why would the accountant even imagine that he choose to do that kind of money for all the money without anybody, you know, um, without any fear of any backlash or what or what not. That would tell you the level of thought in the case. Not only that, it also tells you that there is no way the accountant alone can carry out 40 acts without the commitment of one or two other people within the agents. So it's important for this matter to be thoroughly investigated and we need to get to the root of all those four people, you know, needs to be dealt with. We cannot just assume to that we the accountant. You cannot just put 10 billion naira, you know, without the connivance of any other um, senior staff or junior staff. So this is a matter that cannot be investigated by PSC and in my view, uh, it's a matter that should be transferred to a different um, agency company or, uh, or SFP, Secure Sport Unit, you know, Special Sport Unit, you know, to look into this um, issue. You cannot just trust EFC to know, you know, to investigate itself. Then it also calls for the need to audit all the recovered things um, so far to see the extent of privilege of those things that had happened under the different leadership of the EFC. Right, uh, uh, Barista, show me. It has been um, quite some time since uh, there's a uh, 13 billion naira ekoyilut. Like you have um, rightly pointed out, uh, this uh, uh, goes just beyond um, the the EFC's accountant. You've just said that um, other top um, members of um, the EFC or maybe other uh, authorities sh uh, might be involved. In your opinion, why do you think uh, this particular uh, issue is uh, taking too long to be investigated? I didn't get that. I asked, uh, in your opinion, why do you think uh, this particular issue of um, 13 billion naira ikoyilut is taking so long to be investigated? Uh, as you have just rightly said, that it goes beyond just the EFC's account and that other parties might have been in law. What exactly is this really telling us about the investigating process? I didn't get it. I'm having a problem with the audience. It's gone things. All right, once again, I'll try and uh, see if you can, uh, let's uh, try and uh, rephrase the question in another way. I wanted to get your candid opinion concerning why this particular investigation is taking so long. Indeed, uh, there is a, a discovery today that uh, the accountant, uh, you know, stole 10.9 billion naira. What exactly is happening? What uh, do you really think um, is the body language of the EFCC? Why has it really taken for so long for you know, this uh, particular issue to have been unraveled and be sorted out completely. Yeah, precisely. I guess your question is, why did it take so long to, for this to mm. be detected? Yes, yes. Yes, and um, it's one of the baffling things. When um, that calls for the need for checks and balances, um, we cannot just post EFCC officials that they will necessarily do the right thing. Yes, we cannot... Very many of the officers I strongly believe are good officers who are willing to do the right thing. But you still have the bad eggs. This is Nigeria. There are still a few bad eggs going through the system that needs to be checked. And they're quite often, you know, bad, you know, by powerful people. 
So therefore, there is a need for checks and balances on one part. On the other hand, I will also blame the National Assembly because they have the five conflict over uh, executive um, affairs. So why is it that the uh, National Assembly did not even support um, this blues or the fact that it's been uh, built like allegedly, you know, uh, when they are carrying out their oversight? Or is it that they've not carried out oversight functions on the year six? Do they keep approving, you know, uh, appropriating funds, public funds for EFCT here in year out without a proper oversight function by checking to make sure that these people back, you know, are not again deleted? So, in a way, it tells me a lot about the state of the nation, um, the state of governmental institutions, uh, the lack of checks and balance and uh, corruption within the system. So we need to begin to tighten up, you know, on the process, whereby it is not only um, those who are supposed to carry out the oversight function, you know, that should be held accountable, but also those who are appropriating funds without, you know, uh, cross-checking how those funds are being used. You know, they should be held accountable. There's a committee uh, dealing with it. So what were they doing? We need to begin to ask more questions. Well, thank you so much, uh, uh, Barrister Biodo Shomi, a political analyst, um, for your thoughts uh, on the news tonight. We do appreciate it. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.